If you're not tracking your goals inside of Google Analytics, you're completely wasting your time when it comes to digital marketing. Hi, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about four goals that you should be tracking inside of Google Analytics. First, what is a goal? Well, a goal is some action that's taken on a website or some metric that flips a trigger and basically is counted as one thing that happened on the site. There's a variety of different goals that you can track in Google Analytics, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Okay, so the first type of goal is an event goal, and an event goal can be a variety of things. When it comes to event goals, it really comes down to a category, a label, an action, or a value. And an example of an event goal would be a video play. It would be multiple pages visited on a site. It would be time on site, the amount of time spent on a site. So event goals are definitely something you're gonna to wanna to take the time to set up. In many cases, event goals are more of a micro conversion or a smaller conversion than a macro conversion, which is usually a lead generated or an e-commerce conversion, which is actually tied to direct revenue. Number two is an easy one. If you're a lead generation site, you should be tracking URL destination goals. URL destination goal is one of the easiest ones to set up inside of Google Analytics. If somebody fills out a form and they go to a thank you page, when they hit that thank you page, you can track that as a goal, as a URL destination goal. And that's gonna be one of the main things that you look at as far as how all these different sources and mediums and types of traffic are coming in and converting on your website. Item number three, duration goals. So most websites nowadays, more publishers than anything, this is a really big thing for publishers, but, but most websites are gonna wanna set up a duration goal. A duration goal basically looks at how long the average user spends on the website. If that's increasing, then it's a good thing. It shows that your website's higher quality. If it's decreasing, it's a bad thing. Now, one thing to think about there is you might have certain pages on your site that have a really short duration and a really high bounce rate. That can really weigh down your entire website's average. So if you're setting up duration goals, it's a good thing, good thing to think about segmentation. So segmentation is the specific different areas of the website, and you wanna think about duration for each segment of your website. That's gonna allow you to get a better handle on it. Item number four is pages per visit goal. So every website should be checking how many pages the average visitor visits. It's a good thing to keep track of. Again, it's very big for publishers, but also e-commerce sites, if you have related products or lead generation sites, it can be very indicative if somebody is going to too many pages when they should just be uh, converting on one. So it's different for every business model and you need to keep in mind the type of business that the website's in, but you should definitely be tracking a pages per visit goal. So those are four goals that you should be setting up inside of Google Analytics. I hope you take the time to at least get that done. It's gonna help you quite a bit. Other things that you might wanna set up are e-commerce tracking. That can be really, really important if you're an e-commerce site. And if you're not doing that, then you've got some issues. If you're a big publisher, you know, it can be a good idea to set up AdSense and connecting that to your Google Analytics so that you can see if you're running AdSense, where that revenue is coming in from. Or if you're an affiliate site and you're working with an affiliate network, you're gonna wanna have some goals tied to your affiliate offers. So there's a lot that goes into tracking. I always find it's a good idea not only to set up these goals, but also set up a Google Data Studio dashboard that brings everything together uh, for you in one specific place so that you can keep an eye on your metrics. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you next time. Have a great day.